Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and we're going to be doing the Anomaly mission this evening. I uh, want to start by just telling you that it's uh, kind of a noisy household here. Unfortunately, I've got uh, people wandering around inside the house right now that can't seem to keep quiet. <laughs> so I apologize for any noise in the background that we may be picking up on. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this Anomaly mission today, and we're gonna, I don't have no idea what it is. I have no idea what it's about. We're going to find out here in just a moment as soon as I can load in. And we'll pull in the old anomaly and see what's going on. I usually have multiple screens open right now and all kinds of different stuff going on, but I haven't seen anything in here, so... <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Okay. Just do that while I'm here. All right. I'm going to take off from this ugly little planet. It's not ugly. It's a moon. As we can see. Alright. So let's pull in the old anomaly and find out what's going on for us today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Here we go. You know, if you've never done anomaly missions or been to the anomaly yet, it really is something. And especially with multiplayer on, you can get to meet all kinds or see all kinds of different people here floating around and doing stuff. I have it turned off for the sake of, well, helping my video card out a little bit. But it is what it is. All right, here we are at the Nexus inside the anomaly. Let's see what our mission is for the evening. Or the weekend. Substantial losses, it says. Collect 829 activated cadmium. We have a problem there. I would select this, but the problem is this. Let me just show you real quick in my inventory. My exosuit, of course. If you look down here, I've already got <laughs> enough cadmium to supplant that. I'm going to see what I can do about this. Um, hold on a second here. I think what I'm going to do, because I could put it in my inventory on my freighter or something like that, but I don't think that will work. So let me... Yeah, let's do that, and I'm literally going to I'm going to delete it. So we're going to gather up to 829. So it might say I have some left. Let's see what happens here. And actually, as a test, why don't we test that theory out? Let's take that cadmium, and we're going to shift it to my freighter. Okay, so we don't even have it on my person or my ship. Let's see if that works for us. So if you do already have it, you're going to complete this real quick, but we go ahead and select it. We're going to initialize the mission and start it. So we'll get the announcement here any second. There it is. Substantial losses, it says. Now, I'm going to keep an eye open here because I want to see if it's going to give me an update. Nope, just says reach the target planet. Okay, good. Well, excellent. And you know, if you don't start the mission, if you start wandering around the station, it will cancel your mission after about a minute and a half. So, keep that in mind. And I hope the audio from the game is coming through. It says it is, but I've been listening to a couple of my other videos myself and noticed that, eh, I don't know. I don't know if they're coming through at all, but hopefully they are. Because it kind of adds to the ambiance of the game, does it not? Alright, so we're in the system here. Where are we headed? Hang on. There it is. Okay, so it's going to be this way. I kind of figured as much because I'm seeing save beacons on the planet. Alright, there we go. We're going to head to that activated indium detected. So we're heading this way. Oh, you know what? It said indium, right? Ah. Let me just check something real quick. I happen to have a ton of activated indium, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference. No big deal. I know you're probably wondering to yourself, ah, oh, look at all that, all that, you know, activated cadmium you just wasted. Don't worry about it. I'll get more. <laughs> no big deal at all. All right, so we're at the target planet. Is that a building? Looks like a building. Looks like an abandoned building. That's why we don't have a landing pad near it. Okay, just wondering. Okay. So besides there, do we have any other structures we can land at? Man, there's a lot of people that have been here. Communication stations everywhere. Oh, you know why? They're they're pointing out different places you can go. 
Okay, I got gotcha. you. Now, obviously, we're in the middle of a storm, so we kind of want to be careful. Now, if you look at your top of your screen where your radar is, oh, okay, this is a worm planet, too. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, you'll also notice that if you fly low and slow, that's right, low and slow. If you fly low and slow, you will come across those deposits on occasion. Also, because it is an activated planet and there is a storm brewing, you have the chance of getting storm crystals. So you may want to set up a base here if you don't have a cat, a dr the proper drive to get here. This will boost you into a system you've never been to before. Ta-da! Little cheater's way of getting around things. I don't need storm crystals. I've got dozens upon dozens upon dozens of them, so I'm not going to really worry too, too much about it. So again, look at your top of your screen. Uh, try to ignore all the little, uh, you know, icons indicating these things. Uh, but we're looking for one that shows deposits. Now we can go ahead and do that. And see, it just passed by uh, damaged machinery on the ground. More worms. All right. So I'm going to pick out a spot to land. And these places are so hard to land on because there's so much crap on the ground. Uh, let's go over here. This looks fine. I'll just land over here. Because normally you could see the deposits on the ground at some point. So, we're just going to go ahead and land. Okay, and if you use your scanner... Hold on a second. Okay, now it's telling us to look, and the scanner should come up. Okay, yeah, we got to have our worm. There she goes. Yeah. Oh, great. Tornadoes. This ought to be fun. All right. Let's see. We're going to look through here. Uh, activated Indium 480. That sounds like a good place to go. Should we take a tornado to get there? Let's have some fun. And this is what happens when you're in a tornado. Be careful. If you're too close to the ground, you could run into things, and it can damage you. See? Not bad, huh? Kind of fun. Whoa. Okay, I've got to save my jetpack just a little bit. Boy, it's taking its time to build up here. <laughs> Whee! I should have a ride, at the, a ride like this at a theme park somewhere. Ride your own active tornado. Yay! See? Just try to keep your jetpack charged up enough that you don't get caught up in it, okay? Because that can hurt. Uh, we'll head towards this tornado over here. Oh, okay. Lamp ran out just a little bit, but I got there just in time. Uh, let's see. Hey, I'll go ahead and grab it while I'm here. You just go ahead and hit the E button as you pass by. There we go. Got a couple storm crystals. My deposit is right in front of me, and I was walking right past it. More windstorms. You can wait them out if you just get in your ship. Oh, sucking me in. There we go. Okay, we're out of it. Uh, terrain manipulator. Alright, so those storms are gone now. So we need, what was it, 800 and some odd for it? It'll tell us here in a minute. Keep it on the smallest setting. You will get more indium. There we go. Okay, just want to get that upper one there. Ah, figures. Harder to keep track of it this way. We're probably going to have to get it from at least two different deposits. Okay. Did tell me that the storm was over, did it? Huh? Maybe it just meant the wind event was over. Interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now we've the, the rest of the storm is gone now. Okay, good. All right, and this is pretty much the entire mission. Now, what will happen is once you get all the um, all the deposit that you can get, you know, in other words, when you get to eight hundred and whatever that it wants you to get, you will have to take it to. Yeah, it's actually saying to deliver it. So you notice that it's actually thinking I already have enough. 
So what it would normally do is on the right hand side it would give you a counter. So I was right. I was right. I actually removed the cadmium. I was supposed to remove the indium. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back to the beginning of the video. I could swear it sold me cadmium, not indium, but you'll notice that sometimes that happens. There, I'll go ahead and grab some because it's going to take some away from me. So it thinks I have enough now. So you'll gather as much activated indium as you can and you'll go on from there. Um, and you know what? Just for the heck of it. Because I don't like that hole in my inventory. There we go. A little OCD about that. Um, that's some strange looking uh, grass there. Anywho, let's go head for the ship. Anybody know where we parked? Ah, there we are. Okay, good. Don't pick up the eggs. You don't want to pick up the eggs. That just starts up a whole bunch of crap that you really don't want to have to deal with. Boink. I like to add in my own sound effects. You'll find me doing that once in a while. Okay, that was just a failure all across the board there, trying to get where I'm going. There we go. Proper jump thrust there. Melee thrust. Okay. Back to the ship. See, it's already directing us there. So once you get enough that you need, you head here. It'll direct you to a deposit, and you will deposit... Uh, pardon me, to usually it's a trade station or a trade terminal. Um, looks like we've got a three-minute ride. I'm a little bit impatient, so we'll go ahead and just take to the skies and just take the shorter route. We shouldn't have to pulse drive there, though. Why are hostile ships approaching? Okay. You want a taste of this, my friend? Mm. Ah. Okay. There we go. I'm going to dismiss my squadron because they more, more often than not, they get in the way and they end up destroying my own squadron ships. Come on. Thank you. Next. Next. There you go. Hi. Bye. Pleasure talking to you guys. Yeah, no kidding. Embarrassing. Now, because we're in the upper atmosphere, we're going a lot faster if you look. There goes my voice. Hang on a second. I don't know what that was about. I apologize. Um... So as you can see, you're going much faster in the upper atmosphere, so you can usually get someplace. If it's only going to be like 20 seconds away, just go ahead and just do it this way. By the time you get pulse driven and get all the way where you need to go, it's, it's, you're already there. You're already there. So, that's how I do it. Okay, and down we go. It says approximate location, but I got a funny feeling that the beacon that we see over there, the communication station, is directing us to where we need to go. Oh, what do you know? Looks like we got a sentinel pillar right over there. We'll check that out real quick as a little bonus to our mission here. Okay, there we go. Point. Delivery lockbox prepared. Accessing. This must be Polo Secure Lockbox. I should deposit the item, register my delivery. So we're delivering 750 activated indium. So it's giving you a little bit for yourself. Done. All set. And that is it. And all you have to do now is head back to the anomaly and you're all done. Except, well, you know what I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? I think I will take my ship. an abandoned one too. Isn't that neat? Usually happens on these kind of planets sometimes, so where to go? There it is. Because, of course, we want to see what's here, right? Let's take a look, shall we? Alright, so weapons technology, what we got? Oh, okay, it's got one of the royal ones, and it's in gold. That's kind of nice looking, don't you think? A little bit of blue on there. 
I would take it, but you know, I've never been a big fan of the Royal ones, even though it has a couple of nice um, slots that are already supercharged. Uh, the likelihood that these two are going to get it, or anywhere near that, is going to be pretty slim on this. But hey, it's up to you. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and get out of this. I'd shut them down, but there's really no reason to right now. But uh, we're going to log out. I will go ahead and put down a save beacon. I need a couple metal plates first. Don't die. There we go. Uh, save beacon down right here. Uh, let's change the color. We're going to give it my good old yellow and blue colors that I always like to do. And there we go. Feel free to look for that yellow blue beacon and you should be able to find uh, wherever I parked. And you can get that royal multi-tool for your own. There we go, folks. So that is the end of this mission. Let's go ahead and head back up to the anomaly. Oh yeah, of course it's going to be in the middle of an asteroid field. You can never find an asteroid field when you want one. Yeah, 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 whatever. Five gold, five silver. At least I got something out of it. To return to the anomaly, we'll return to the Nexus. We'll turn in our mission and get our reward. I have no idea what happened to my voice. Very sorry about that. There we go. Guess the butter got a little crusty. Who knows? Yeah, that was for you, people, bum. Okay. And there we go. We're going to complete the mission. And it looks like we're getting some salvage data out of it as well. 1,800 Quicksilver. Oh, thank heavens, I was running low. Okay. And of course, as usual, we'll go ahead over here to our Quicksilver vendor, because I have not collected the cowl yet. So let's grab that. Spawning cowl, 3,200. Well, as many times as we've done this over the weekends, we've got enough now, right? And it looks like next is the geometric cape little shredded, but I don't know if it's going to glow or what's going to happen with it, because I always like the cape that I currently have. But I look forward to that. It looks like we got 15% of that unlocked. You see the progress at the top. And if you don't want to get to the Nexus to discover that, you just go into your escape menu and look under Community Research. It'll give you the progress. So hopefully soon we'll be getting that geometric cape, as shown in there. So let's go ahead and Say goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed this run of the Anomaly Mission. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you just want to leave a comment, feel free. As you all know, I always respond to the comments. And I want to thank you all for watching. Please feel free to hit that like button, and hey, subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to do this all the time. All right, folks, take care. Good to see you. See you in the next video.